Louise, tell me what's uh, Nokia's priority here at MWC this year, 2025, and uh, how does that match up with your overall corporate strategy for your customers? Yeah, so our priority this year and how it matches to our strategy, um, we're expecting our customers to do a lot this time around um, real world impact of technologies like 5G, AI, connectivity, um, and the critical path that the CSPs bring in um, delivering on that promise. And then from Nokia's perspective, we'll be helping them differentiate through optimizing networks, um, through finding new revenue streams. Um, and we'll also be doing that through things like cloudification, autonomous networks, um, interoperability, monetization. What can we expect to hear from Nokia this week in terms of big announcements? Yes, we have some very exciting announcements this week. Um, if I just pick a couple of them, so we will be talking around our AI RAN development by announcing a new AI RAN center in Dallas. Um, we also have something in the defense space, so we have an exciting new partnership with Lockheed Martin and mm. Verizon. Um, and then, uh, actually on Friday, we announced the closure of the Infineera deal, which is huge for us in the optical space. What about after MWC? What can we expect from Nokia this year? Yeah, so what happens after MWC? Well, actually, if I go back two years, we um, launched our refresh brand here. And since then, we've been building um, a lot of our technology leadership and some exciting partnerships. And we've also built really strong foundations in growth areas such as data centers, defense, private wireless and industrial edge. Um, and then outside of that, we actually have a very exciting year for Nokia Bell Labs because it's the centennial. So they've spent 100 years innovating. Hopefully, they'll do 100 more. Um, and at the moment, they're looking at things like um, 6G. They're looking at, well, we had a launch last week with NASA, so our 4G network will be on the moon shortly.